well, we have to go on a trip. But I don't have any darts. I ran out of darts. I need to go get a dart refill. Hmm. What do you think? How are we going to figure out where we're going if we don't have darts? We need to go get darts, though. Do you know anyone who has darts? Oh, hold on. J-Lo just texted me. Yep, Jennifer Lopez has darts for us. All right, cool. Okay. Tell her B B R B. I said T T Y L. Well, we are now on our way, not to the airport, which is normally where we would be going for a trip. We are going to film some secret little videos with our, our good friend Jennifer. This is the beginning now of our adventure or excursion or struggle bus on our way to Super Saturday Night in Minneapolis. Remember your line? <laughs> I have one line. <laughs> I'm trying not to forget it. Well, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's just like Jello just participated in LMT. Two, three, four. Yeah, it is, it is dry cold out here. It's minus one. In fact, I don't know how much longer that I can record a video without the sensor freezing, because it does that now. We have 40 minutes before we have to leave. What do you want to do? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even hear it. I gotta maybe use the little boys room. To just kind of reiterate the whole entire reason we're out here in Minneapolis right now, we are out here to celebrate with JLo for Super Saturday Night, which is Saturday night. But until then, we have a couple cool things planned. One of which is at Cowboy Jack's tonight, it is where we are going to meet a bunch of the Minnesota U, hang out, and ride a mechanical bull, perhaps. So we have a bunch of spare tickets, and we're going to go around the University of Minnesota, try to find some of you guys, and give them away. So in actuality, this is our friend Aaron. Hello. And he's gonna help us uh, give away some of these tickets to the meetup tonight. But we're gonna basically have Aaron, cause he's wearing this outfit, be the guy giving away things. So we're gonna give him stuff and we're gonna go hide and we're gonna try to see who finds Aaron in his- You're gonna his... blend in, just blending into the snow over here. <laughs> Nacho Libre snow outfit. We're across the street. He's over there. This is like, this is not something we normally get to do on LMT. So How do you is... know if you have frostbite? My fingers are like... You have fingerless gloves. Why do you have fingerless gloves? <laughs> I don't have any other gloves. Let me gloves. see your gloves. I don't understand how Minnesotans aren't freezing. People have nothing over their ears, their hands are exposed, I have gloves on, and I can't feel my fingers. Oh my god, hi. Hello, how are you? I literally live here. That's awesome, what's your name? Ella. Aaron, great to meet you. Okay, well here's uh, two beanies for you. Oh my god. There's the two tickets. <laughs> so you're coming tonight, yeah? Yes! Good, okay, cool. Uh, who's your favorite? Wafsicle bro. Julian. Okay, cool. Why do you hate Colin so much? I don't! <laughs> I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio and the Titanic, except a lot less cute and a lot less getting shot at by Billy Zane. You hear this? That's the noise the camera's making right now because it's struggling to stay on due to the temperature. Going to Cowboy Jags and riding the mechanical bull is crazy and I've never rode a mechanical bull. I'm very excited to do it. Uh, but at the end of the day right now, I'm just... Waiting for tonight. Where do you think? Where do you think this thing? Where you're gonna fall? Do you think it's just suspended? Whoa! 
Lovely. I'll have one of those. What's the next one? Oh, shit. <laughs> Smells great. And finally, the entree. Only the best for our fans. <laughs> Excuse me real quick. And that's all for me. Yeah, I'm not too hungry. This will be fine. Excuse me. <laughs> My food, I'm not gonna finish it. Yeah, but like, as far apart as possible. <laughs> wait, 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 this one spins it. No, it goes up and down. Okay. Oh. Down. And then this one spins. Oh, it's just like this. Yeah. No, no. This is the speed. The yeah. farther down you go, the faster it is. <laughs> okay, that's not how you do. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. That's not accurate. We have to stop. This is exactly how a ball moves. <laughs> Minus four, minus five actually. Okay, folks, this is why you don't go outside in minus four degree weather when your hair is even slightly wet. His hair is frozen. His hair is like frozen into like chunks. It's like a, it's like literally like a little like icicle. Okay, it's so gonna... cold, dude. <laughs> your hair's, dude, this one is so <laughs> strong. Right. This one is like an icicle, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, your hair is frozen. All right, so uh, for our first stop today in Minneapolis, we found a place called The Salt Cave, which we know almost nothing about. I think there might be some meditation involved, maybe? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Can we walk in? Please. It's a place where we take relaxation serious. Our son grew up with asthma, and in hindsight, you know, you take him places, and here in the wintertime, you're cooped up, and chances are you go somewhere and you get sick. And the idea that this was antibacterial, you know, a place that would be cleaner, more therapeutic, and fun, you know. When the session begins, we have a generator that blows salt in here. All the salt that we blow in has slowly settled. And so it makes it salty for everybody. There's white pieces, there's red. You have one, or you have multiple? We've got two. You got two? Yeah. Whoa! Right. Oh. What? What? There's these little, like, danglies, but then, like, watch. It's like... You can see it kind of crystal. Like, it's just... It's very fragile. Yeah. That's so wild, man. This is, like, tripping me out. This is like nothing I've ever experienced. Yeah. I think this, these trips give us no shortage of complete surprises and random places. How does this place exist? How did we find it? Is a question I feel like we ask every single time we leave. And this feels really kind of special to this guy who runs this place and the people who are part of it to come here and do nothing but use literal salt to clear their heads and relax and find happiness. salty as negative because I have been underappreciating salt. And sometimes you got to go to a salt cave <coughs> to realize that it's salty in here. It's salty, aka wonderful in here. Wonderful. Here, wait. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even have to do that with your arms. <laughs> just keep your arms down. Ow. Why can't we Thank just do dead. this for ourselves? Because I, I want you to touch me. You just hit me in the knee. <laughs> you just like punch
punched my knee. You're right. You can't do that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just a cheat now. Now desalt me. Get in there, boy. <laughs> ladies. For the ladies and men out there. He's taken. <laughs> The magic of Twitter has shown us that there is a vegan butcher shop called the Herbivores Butcher in downtown Minneapolis. And I am hungry and it is lunchtime. So we are gonna do something that we literally never do and we are gonna go to a vegan restaurant. Yeah, people all around the country are, they're either pissed off about us existing or they're really excited that we exist but they tell someone either way. Studying to be a doctor that crashed and burned. Then uh, I was trying to be a pastor like my dad and that burned even even hotter. Then I was just a server and I couldn't eat anything on the menu because they didn't have anything remotely yeah. vegan. Not really any, uh, any culinary experience, just a lot of failed batches. Give that to me, and I wouldn't know the difference at all. Hey, thank you so much, man. Oh yeah, really cool. Yeah, thanks for coming yeah. by. It's crazy, like Kale, the guy who owns and started that place. He's not a chef. He just wanted to make a vegan butcher shop, and so he did. And we found it. And I still haven't even eaten my food. Colin is raving about his freaking sandwich. This food that you bought. Boy. Something tells me that you don't wanna. One of you guys, you guys know us really well. One of you guys suggested a, a comic book and game shop. We're, we're children. We're just the children with cameras. So Colin's finding exactly where it is. It's close. Are you cold or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot my jacket. <laughs> Questions not to ask Colin in the cold. Yo, dog, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> How's the weather? Oh, God. Airplane food, am I right? <laughs> So our store is called Heroic Goods and Games. Um, if you probably noticed the sign, might kind of say games and goods right now. Uh, we're waiting on the painter. He'll he'll fix it, but I don't know. You guys have noticed it's a little cold outside. Um, wait. So you were on Vine. That's so cool, though. Oh, you know, and I wasn't ever. I would never call myself like an awesome Vine creator. I mean, for me, it was just more monkeying around, doing some stop motion stuff. Wait. So what do you, you just go in there? Just open it. Yeah. Let's see what you get. This is it. Yep. Moment of truth. Went a bodacious trip. <laughs> it's like so old it doesn't scratch. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm just ruining the card. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say I did not win. We're betting. Okay, We're what's working. the bet? Let's make the bet. The loser has to shirtless snow angel. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, fine. Boom. Pantsless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Makes it farther on the three lines. That was you. Oh. Nice, way to start. Let's just I'll leave him this. here. Can we leave? Down. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, dude. What? <laughs> you just getting boy? No. <laughs> Whoa, shit. <laughs> Your head was like an inch from this. <laughs> Ow. Is it just so slippery down there? Is that why? It's just so slippery. Yeah. And, you know, like when it was partially frozen, people were going in the back, and then the responders would have to go get them, and one gal almost got impaled by an by ice an icicle. Yes. Oh. All right, take care, guys. Bye. Yeah. Every single person I talk to in Minnesota is so proud of this place, and they are so excited to have any sort of conversation with someone willing to give them a moment. It's not, it's just refreshing. Not quite as refreshing as the minus five degree weather that we're in, but refreshing. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Whoa. Oh. Just hours away from uh, the Super Saturday night and we uh, came to the Mall of America, which literally looks like an entire city. And we're gonna romp around here before getting our J-Lo on. 
do your best J-Lo dance move in the snow, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna get caricatures of a... Should we be riding a dart? Yes, absolutely, 100%, yes. We're gonna be riding a dart. Is it possible to have us riding on a dart? Like a flying dart? On a flying dart? Alrighty! I pretty much already am a caricature <laughs> of myself. This is definitely the most random caricature I've done all day. I don't think I've ever been asked to draw somebody riding a dart. Do you want to elaborate? Maybe it's best we don't. All right, just, just leave the mystery. Just finish, you know? <laughs> Have you been doing it for a while? Like, yeah, you've been to some year. cool places. A year, man? Yeah. You ready then, guys? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here it comes. Oh my oh god, that is my. so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at your hair, dude. So for this, for Super Saturday Night, they recreated the Puerto Rican rainforest. So we're gonna shoot in here with JLo in just a couple minutes. I, yesterday we were literally here and there was there was nothing. There was couches. There was couches, and so they totally built it up. It's absolutely dope. We have a bird. What are you gonna name the bird? I don't know, but he's looking at me funny. Let's go. This trip was about celebration. Celebrating bringing you guys with us on our voyage. Celebrating music, charity, and friendship. And celebrating the power of adventure. The kind of adventure that brings you to a new place in so many different ways. And that makes you feel like you won. Just by going for it. So I'll go back to bed. Early, early.